Hello there! Since the past week, I am organizing and implementing some assets that I have in my computer. And during Thursday live stream, when I was implementing some tile sets from Kenny, I faced some very weird problems where some artifacts were created when implementing the assets in Godot. So I studied a bit and finally fixed a lot of the problems related to vector art. In this video, I will share with you the tips and tricks that I found during this study that can improve the workflow and results of the implementation of such assets. The first tip that I'd like to share with you is the importing settings that I often use for vector art. People that use uh, pixel art, they often disable the filtering settings, so they disable the filter here. But if we disable this for vector art, we will get some very jagged lines and we don't want this because vector art is meant to be very uh, soft and smooth. So we often enable this filter option and you can see that they are kind of blurry but they are very smooth, especially when seen from some distance. Also, I disabled the fixed alpha border because it doesn't make a lot of stuff, but it fixes this blurry effect. You can see that with the alpha border we get an extra pixel, I guess, of blurriness, and when disabling it, we get it right. So that's it for the importing settings. Another tip that I want to share with you is when you are working with multiple resolutions, you can use some of the Godot building stretch modes. So if you have the stretch mode disabled, you won't have any stretching. So the viewport will scale to the window resolution, but the textures won't scale with it. But if you use the stretch mode, so let's say the viewport mode, you will get your textures scaled perfectly to the resolution so you can see that they are very well scaled because you actually are scaling the viewport instead of scaling the textures but you can see that there are some jagged lines here which we don't quite want but if you try to use the 2d mode you will get some blurriness so the the assets are scaled but you get a lot of artifacts, you can see that there are some lines here and some gaps between the tiles. So the 2D stretch mode is not very good, at least for now, because it will scale the texture and will scale some artifacts with it. But something that I use to work around this is to scale down the tile map, we'll get this. Actually, I often use a uh, hundred 28 textures instead of 64 like I'm doing here uh, but you can try to use this and you see that we'll get a lot less artifacts but we'll still get them right so let's try to fix that so if you go for this scaling workaround and you still get the artifacts on your tile you can go to the project settings and on the quality, rendering quality, and use pixel snap. This will make sure that these artifacts are not there. So you can see that the texture is perfectly smooth and we have this, and we don't have actually any artifacts here. It scales well. So this is my tip for fixing the stretching artifacts that we get with the 2D stretching mode. You can use the viewport one if you don't have anything against these jagged lines, but this is my workaround for the 2D stretching mode. So here goes the next tip, but this one is if you are creating multiple assets, okay? You want to create an asset that you can use on multiple projects, because if you are on a single project, you probably already have your final resolution and you can work more safely but if we are creating assets for multiple projects these tips goes well so the tip is to scale the, the asset up so I will use twice the scale re-import it and we already have some messed up assets here but I will change the cell size of the tile map 
to 128 128 because this is what I often use this is the resolution I often use for tiles so the tip goes here you can have multiple assets for each resolution you are using so I have one for 1x the scale one for twice the scale and if I drag and drop this here I will have perfectly scaled assets when I stretch my window so this tip goes well with the workaround that I said, if you scale the tile map by half its scale, and if you use the 2D stretch mode and the pixel snap. So these three tips go together here. So here goes the coolest tip that I can share with you, is uh, my workflow to working with SVG assets in Godot. So, let's say you made the blockage of your level, so you have very primitive art imported and you are just using for blockage and to prototype and you don't want to use this for the final product but you figure out that with these shapes and this color the level is already good you want to make a very interactive process on these assets you can basically open your file on Inkscape and start to iterate on it until you reach the final aesthetic that you want your assets to have and you can basically save your file and go back to Godot and everything on your level will be overridden by the current iteration of the assets and since they are SVG files you can use git to have a version controlling of the versions of the assets you're using so this is one of the coolest things that I can share with you Use Inkscape together with Godot with SVG files. But I have to be honest with you, none of these tips and tricks that I just shared with you are actually needed if you follow a better workflow. So I will take rid of this workaround here and if we zoom out the, the screen we will see that there are some artifacts already. This is because we are using texture packs and this is the tip don't use texture packs at least not for tile sets because they will make you have a lot of head ashes we just saw a lot of tips and tricks and you saw that they are basically just to fix tiles so the tip here is to use individual images for your tiles this will make sure that you don't have any of these problems so i will just drag and drop this uh, the style set here that uses individual tiles and you can see that the artifacts that we had are basically not there if we scale up the window we don't have any artifacts everything is as it should I will actually turn off the pixel snap here so we don't need this tweak and you can see that everything is as it should so this is the the needed tip that I want to share with you because it's very sad that currently Godot doesn't have a good workflow to work with vector art texture packs. I wish it, it had, but currently it doesn't. You saw it in this video. But unfortunately, we will have to not use texture packs, at least for tiles. You can have texture packs for your characters. I actually use texture packs for my characters. But for tile sets, it doesn't work. And that's it everyone, these are my tips and tricks when working with vector art in Godot. Do you have your own? Let us know, comment below what tricks you have to achieve beautiful vector art games. If you like these tips and tricks, don't hesitate to leave a thumbs up, this helps a lot. And also, if you are not subscribed yet, subscribe now to be notified about the next videos. This video was made possible thanks to the awesome patronage of these people. Check out the perks and rewards you can have by becoming a big dev patron. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Keep developing and until the next time.